Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm talking about marginal revenue for the competitive market. And I might as well just say it right away. Marginal revenue for, per, for a firm in perfect competition is just the market price. Price equals marginal revenue equals demand for an individual competitive firm. So let's, let's see why. All right, so how to find marginal revenue for a firm in competitive market? Well, marginal revenue is just the change in total revenue from selling an additional unit of output. But in a perfectly competitive market, you're taking the prices given, meaning every additional unit I sell is going to go for exactly the market price. If I were to change that price based on the number of units I'd sell, then I'd have some influence on the market price. I'd no longer be a price taker. That would violate our assumption for perfect competition. So my comment, in competition, firms take the prices given. They are price takers. So each additional unit is sold for exactly the market price, which therefore must be the marginal revenue, right? I sell an additional unit. I contribute that market price to my total revenue. That's exactly our definition of marginal revenue. Here's the picture. Here's my entire competitive market. Here's my market demand curve, my market supply curve. Where they intersect is the market price and the market quantity. You can imagine if there, was a, if there was a shift of the demand curve along a stationary supply curve to the right, market price would rise. If there's a leftward shift of the demand curve against a stationary supply curve, market price would fall, or you can think of supply shifting. And what would that do? That would raise or lower the market price, and the single, in the individual single competitive firm is just gonna stare at this price and make their decision by comparing their marginal cost curve to this market price. But what's ultimately going to happen, each additional unit for that market, for the firm in the competitive market, is sold for exactly the market price, meaning that is their marginal revenue. And here's the graph for the, of the price of the demand curve and marginal revenue for a single competitive firm. right? And so my observation here, for any quantity, the market price is the same. You might wonder, like, how do we know that this is a demand curve? It doesn't look like a demand curve. It looks horizontal. Well, this is the demand curve for an individual competitive market. Remember, the competitive firm, in a, an individual firm in the competitive market faces perfectly elastic demand, perfectly horizontal demand. And this indeed is a demand curve because what does a demand curve do? It relates pairs of prices and quantities demanded. Well, I'll give, I'll give you a price, P star, you give me a quantity. For P star, matter of fact, you can give me a whole bunch of different quantities. Any of these quantities is going to correspond to this price, right? So there's a whole bunch of pairs for any quantity. We have the same price. This is a relationship between price and quantity. And that's exactly what we need for a demand curve, right? Quantity demanded, price, demand curve, right? And what the demand curve is going to be horizontal at the market price telling us that it doesn't matter what quantity we sell, moving along the horizontal axis, selling more or less. It's always going to go for exactly that price, which is going to contribute the same amount to our to our revenue, meaning marginal revenue is just equal to the market price for an individual competitive firm. All right, I'll go ahead and conclude here. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can like and then have a good night, everyone.